welcome, welcome to the first ever Julia's Best and Worst Book Awards of 2017. <laughs> With this awards ceremony, we will be honoring and dishonoring the books that I read in 2017. Let's have a ceremony where we all dress up and laugh and smile at the books that I read this year. So let's get on to the first category. Our first category is Best Sequel that I read in the year 2017. And the nominees are Lois Lane Triple Threat by Gwen Bond. Piper's Price by Audrey Greathouse. Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. The Ship of Dead by Rick Riordan. And finally, Haunting the Deep by Audrin Mathier. And the winner is... <sighs> the Ship of Dead by Rick Riordan. <laughs> Our next category is Best not worth the hype. The nominees are 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, Kill the Boy Band by Goldie Mascari, and Every Day by David Letitian. And the winner is Kill the Boy Band by Goldie Mascari. Oh, it deserves none of the hype. Our next category is Best Good Promise Not Executed Well. And the nominees are Roomies by two authors I will never read again due to that book. Crash, by some author I'm never gonna remember. And Open Road Summer, by Emery Lord. And the winner is Roomies. You had such a good premise, and then the writing and the characters sucked. You must be very proud of this award. Our next category is Best Main Character, and the nominees are Star Carter from The Hate You Give, Vivian Carter from Moxie, Simon Spider, from Simon vs. the Homeless Sapiens Agenda, Grace Salter, Rosanna Swartz, or Aaron DeLoa from The Nowhere Girls, Eliza Mark from Eliza and Her Monsters. And the winner is Star Carter from The Hate You Give. Wow, she definitely deserves that award. Our next category is Best of the Summer. The requirements for this category was they had to be read from June to the end of August. The nominees are a Ring of Endless Light, Ramona Blue, Girl Out of Water, Tosh Hart's Toll Story, Eliza and Her Monsters, and The Hate You Give. And the winner is, obviously, The Hate You Give. Wow, they've already run two awards. They are on fire tonight. Our next category is Worst of the Summer. These are the same requirements as the previous category. They had to be read from June to August. And the nominees are Summer of Yesterday by Someone. The Summer My Life Began by Someone I Will Never Remember. Forsaken, also by Someone I Will Never Remember. Crash, another author I'll never remember. Fifteenth Summer, another person I will never remember. And Roomies, two authors that I will never read again due to this book. And the winner is... Two for two, Roomies! Another award you deserve because your writing sucks and the characters suck. Our next category is Best Couple. Our nominees are... Simon and Blue from Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Lois and Clark from Lois Lane Triple Threat. Viola and Todd from the Chaos Walking Trilogy. Magnus and Alex from The Ship of Dead. Star Carter and Chris from The Hate You Give. And our winner is... Magnus and Alex from The Ship of Dead. Oh my god. It was a slow burning romance, but they finally got it. They finally got together, guys. Every is this a spoiler? Our next category is Best Classic. Our nominees for this category are To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, Anne of Green Gables by Leigh E. Montgomery, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis, and Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Bapit. Bap and the winner is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, another award to add to its beautiful cover. Our next category is Worst Books for School. The nominees are Don Quixote and Black Like Me. And the winner is Don Quixote. <laughs> Yay! I deserve the burn. Maybe next year, 10th grade, your books will be on the Best Classics nominees. And the next category is Best Surprise. Our nominees are How to Hang a Witch by Audrey Matthew, Cry of the Sea by D.H. Driver, Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde, and Trouble is a Friend of Mine by Stephanie Trumbull. And the winner is Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. 
Oh, that beautiful book deserves all the applause. And now we're getting to our last two major categories. These are the ones that are meant for so many books, and this is what they've been fighting for, to be in the second one. But we're starting off with the ones they don't want to be in, and that is the worst book for 2017. Let's see what our nominees are. Roomies, by two authors I'm never going to read from again. Crash, by an author I'm not even going to remember. Kill the Boy Man, by Goldie Mathisori. And Don Quixote, by an old guy. And the winner is... Oh my god! It's a three-way tie! The ones that have won the award, the award for the worst books are Roomies, Kill the Boy Band, and Don Quixote. Congratulations for sucking and torturing me throughout the year. And our final category, the best book of 2017. The nominees are The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, Moxie by Jennifer Math Matthew, Queen's of Geek by Jen Wilde, The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed, Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappa, Ship of Dead by Rick Riordan. And the winner is La La Land. Wait, what? I mean Moonlight. Who gave me the joke that is like two years old on this paper? Don't worry, I got the envelope with the actual winner. And the winner is another three-way tie. What? So, The Hate You Give, Moxie, and Nowhere Girls are the best books that I've read in 2017. Thank you all for watching my awards ceremony, and I can't wait for next year to read all the amazing and hopefully not terrible books. Thank you. Thank you. I'm your host, Julia, and I'll be signing off. Adios. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Okay.